Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we've got the JGRC Tracker. This has been out quite a while. This is an entry level GPS photography drone. I was not going to review this. This is one of the ones I bought and I wasn't going to review because my channel is going to be slightly different. I'm not going to have anywhere near as many toy grade drones, if any, on here. So what I wanted to do is, I am going to do the odd few of these if I get something that comes out that interests me. But this I wasn't going to do, but I've decided to do it because this is a £42 I paid for this, 42 quid for a GPS drone. It's the cheapest GPS drone I could find when I bought it. I put it on the channel to see how cheap you, what you could get for 42 quid and how rubbish it was. I decided to do it because I was actually quite surprised when I did fly it, how nicely it flew. So, I'm going to go through the review for you. This has not got all the bells and whistles that a lot of the modern um, Rush drones have, but it's 42 quid and it's very robust. So let's have a quick look. So in the box you get a little manual. You get the drone itself. You get a controller. You get the phone holder for the controller that's in there and you get a spare set of props, a charging cable and the obligatory screwdriver. But in this one you actually get two, I have no idea why. So let's just put the box down here. Let's look at the drone first. So this is the drone, it's like a textured kind of rubberized coat and you've probably seen these type of things before. I actually really like the look of this thing. I think it looks superb, it looks far more expensive than it is. It has obviously got brushed geared motors, you can see the motors there, like coming down there, the motors, and at the bottom of here you have a gear system. In the back of here you have a battery and one of the other major benefits for this drone is it doesn't take proprietary batteries. These are common and easy to get hold of, the only thing is you don't get great flight time with these, but this is a 610 milliamp hour 2S battery, it's 20C, it goes in the bottom of there, now that is the issue because you don't have that much room so you need to buy these slim time ba slight batteries but they're very cheap and they're easy to get hold of. We'll pop the battery back in there and we'll have a look at the controller. So this is the controller, again it's got like a slightly rubberized te texture on it and it's got texture grips on the back, so one of the few cheap controllers, toy grade controllers I've seen that actually feels nice to hold in your hand, it doesn't try and slip out because it's not cheap nasty plastic. It is cheap plastic, but it's got this covering on it. So here's the controller, as you can see in the front you've got calibration, so you calibrate your compass, photo video, your speed modes on the top and your return, and then uh, take off the land button at the bottom. So as you can see, it's quite a simple controller, it runs on four AA batteries and you simply clip the phone holder, Clips that goes over the top there, clips in there, and then you put your phone on. I'm not going to do that in this video. So let me just boot it up and show you the drone itself. So, simple plug in, no power switch on this one. Closes in the back. As you can see, you've got red LEDs on the front and green on the back. You also have an SD card holder, which is a massive thing that a lot of the one for 70 80 quid don't have i don't know why they don't put sd card holders on here but you have an sd card holder you can see the video coming up at the end of this that'll show you the camera the camera's average it's 720p camera it's not earth shattering but it does its job and it records to the sd card which is much much better see the transmitter we flick it on and then you do your normal up and down sorry you hit that button there completely light here. So we're now bound so you can see you've got red at the front and nothing at the back. You hold the calibration button in you will see you now get flashings and then if you do the dance of the calibration dance. Now this one I don't know if it does work inside. Some do, some don't and this one doesn't appear to do. But if you go through the manual it shows you. I've just found it actually and then nose down I believe so it beeps. There you go. So we're now back. We're now fully working. So I'm going to show you the app. The app it runs on is called JJRC Tracker. That is to find. Again, it's on the Apple Store and it's also available on Android. Easy enough to find. It's been out quite a long time. Click onto your Wi Fi. And it don't find it. 
There you go, Wi-Fi 203F80 is what you want. Your numbers are probably different here. So click on that and then we go on to the JJC tracker app which will look like this. And the reason it's that colour is you can buy that in this colour. So you can get it in like a browny grey and yellow or you can get it in the green and whatever colour that is blue. So if we click on this, we've got operating instructions or start. If we go straight into start. There you go, so there's your image. The camera is not adjustable as you can see, it's fixed camera, but the lag isn't bad at all. Hope you can see that. I don't think the lag's bad on this one. The image is quite crisp, and on the top of here you have your typical fare. I'm not going to go through all this with you, but you can see you've got all your settings on the top. And your, GP, your battery percentage, your rate percentage of your battery, your rates, your time you've been flying, and then your camera controls so you also have camera controls on here so if I click the photo button because there's no SD card in it, it's going to try and save it to my phone but that's fine so let's just show you what this looks like from the camera's point of view so it's just taking a photo and then these are your height and your depth etc this is your folder where it's going to save your photos and I do not know where it's put it. There you go. So that's the photo it's just taken. Doesn't look that bad, I don't think. It's quite sharpish. Sharper than the video anyway, looks. And then you've got video button there. Green lights, the lights will come on on the back to tell, uh, sorry. It will flash, sorry, if you see it flashing. Tell you it's doing video. And then when you take a photo, you'll get a single flash. Okay? So that's pretty much a controller to be honest. Um, you've got return to home and you've got speed modes. So you've got one, two, and three. And that's your return to home button. So You've got to remember what you're looking at here is quite basic. You're probably looking at the CT basic because they haven't got a lot of the features that a lot of these other drones have. And it hasn't. It, it just hasn't got all them. But you, it's a very cheap drone. It's 40 odd quid rather than um, a lot of these are a lot more money now. You've got some of these up to, up to £100 for a brushless drone. A brush drone, I don't think it's worth that kind of money for a brush drone. But at 42 quid, can you really go wrong? You'll have seen some videos I've done recently and I've just got normal toy grade altitude hold drones for that kind of money. They don't look as nice as this and a lot of them don't fly as nice as this. This thing flies really nicely in the air. It's not going to break any records. It's not a speed demon or anything like that. It's cheap and it's cheerful. And I think for 42 quid, you can't go wrong. It's certainly worth looking at some of the... I know what happens, people get... I'm as bad. You look at the new stuff coming out on Banggood or whatever site you're on and you look at all the new, new stuff. Sometimes you can get unearthed some right bargain. If you don't believe my video, you want to see another one. There's plenty of videos on this that show it being decent. And for the money, I don't think you can go wrong. It's not a world beater, but for the money, you can't go wrong. I'm going to leave you with some flight footage. I haven't done loads of flight footage because you've all seen drones like this before. I've got a couple of minutes flight footage. You'll see it flying. You'll see how stable it looks in the air. And you're going to see the image from here. So yeah, I'd definitely take a look at it. To me, it's a bit, it's a thumbs up because of the price more than anything else if you want to pay a bit more the z5 if you can get the z5 at a reasonable amount of money i've seen them for around 70 quid great drone does a lot more than this but for 42 quid can you give up thanks very much for watching have a fantastic day so this is the video of the jgrc tracker unfortunately it was far too windy to fly it this day so it's not doing it justice at all and unfortunately i'm out of time to do another flight so this is what you're going to have to see it was very windy as you can see it's moving around a lot that was just due to the wind uh, as you can see from the camera it's a 720p camera it's not the greatest in the world but it's not bad and you've got to remember this thing's 42 quid thanks ever so much for watching fantastic day
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up